FIFA 20 Early Access is just around the corner. I think we're about a week away now, which is actually really exciting. Uh, just over a week. It comes out September 19th at 4pm, which will allow you to play the full game of FIFA 20 for 10 hours before the actual game comes out. Now, if you're wondering, if you are wondering in your head... When should I get EA Access? When's the time to buy my first month? Because I want to buy it. I want to play FIFA 20, but I don't want recurring months. I don't want to buy a year. I just want to buy one month. Well, now is the time. You want to make sure that the time overlaps the 19th and whatever day you're getting the full game. So, for example, if you're getting the full game on the 25th, uh, you want 19th to the 25th. So, you can buy the one month now. It will last till October 9th, and you'll get the 19th to the 25th of EA Access, simple as that. Now, it gives you 10 hours of the full game. Everything you do, everything you save carries over. If you're playing career mode, that carries over to the full game. If you're playing ultimate team, that carries over to the full game. You keep everything when the full game gets released. It is essentially the full game for 10 hours. Now, there are glitches to actually get more 10 hours. We'll talk about that later in the video as well. Uh, but today, I'm going to show you guys how you actually get FIFA 20 uh, when, obviously, the day it comes out, really, on the, on the 19th. Um, how to get EA Access and, uh, and kind of answer a few questions a lot of people have been giving me about EA Access. So, Without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, if you've never had EA Access before and you're wondering how to get EA Access, whether you're on PlayStation, whether you're on Xbox, it's really, really simple. I'll talk to you guys about how to do it on PlayStation first because it's just a lot easier to do it on PlayStation. Uh, well, what you want to do is, really easily, just go over to the PlayStation Store and load that up. It's as simple as that. It, it, there's nothing you have to do. There's no code you have to input. Uh, and then once you're in the PlayStation Store, it's really good. It's actually cr pretty smart, the PlayStation Store. It knows what you want straight away. So you type in EA Straight away, EA Access Hub comes up. Now, if you want to buy literally just one month of EA Access, uh, as opposed to having a 12-month, um, what's the word, uh, recurring cycle come out of your, your payment card, then the easiest thing you can do here is actually just buy one month of EA Access. Uh, it's £3.99, which is about $5 roughly. I think that's what they charge in America anyway. Um, so if you really wanted to, you could actually just go ahead and uh, and get the EA Access one month on PlayStation, or you can just get the EA Access Hub. We're going to need the EA Access Hub regardless, but you can get the one month on PlayStation without having it recur. I think I've bought 12 months anyway. Um, and when you actually load it up, let me quickly show you what it looks like. Uh, it comes up with games, uh, and you have the installed games. I only have FIFA 19, which is not installed directly from EA Access, but it is in EA Access. Uh, I have the Vault, which allows you to download all of these games you can play for free with having EA Access. So, for example, EFC 3, uh, FIFA 18, and these don't have uh, time limits on them, I don't think. Uh, I think that the later games, like the 18s and 19s, well, I think, is it 19? Yeah, FIFA 19. So, this might have a time limit. NHL 19 might have a time limit. NFL 19, all that stuff. But UFC 3 probably won't have a time limit, and most of them probably won't have a time limit. You can just go on and enjoy these games for absolutely free. Uh, you know, no questions asked. Now, these are the latest ones that have come out. So, NHL 20, NFL 20 and Anthem. There's three um, trials here. These are 10-hour trials. Uh, these, are, these are the exact same as how FIFA 20 works. You get a 20-hour, so you get a 10-hour free trial of the game before you actually get the game. So I think NHL drops on like the 13th, I want to say. So if you want to get this game early, you want 10 hours. For example, let's say this is like FIFA 20. You do the exact same thing for FIFA 20, by the way. Um, say, say it's September 9th at 4 p.m. Because FIFA 20 trial drops at September 19th. 19th 4 p.m. I can't even speak today. Uh, you go on download in store and it should bring you up straight away with the download uh, standard edition pre-order page. Now, it'll give you two options. It'll say you can pre-order it for a reduced price with EA Access or it will say download game trial. I actually don't have enough space on my PlayStation to download it, but that's how you would download the game trial. It's as simple as that. It's not difficult at all. Um, all you have to do is go on and uh, and download the game trial. You do have to download the full game. Now, you don't have to have bought the game online to do this. If you've ordered the game from Amazon, if you've ordered the game from Asda, from Tesco, from Walmart, from any outlet store if you're getting a physical copy of the game that does not matter um you can still play ea access you can still enjoy ea access uh it just means you're gonna have to download the full version of the game and then have a hard disk copy as well which you know isn't the end of the world but that's how it works uh you don't have to have had the uh the online version although i always recommend buying online versions of games because it's just easier you get it straight at release as opposed to having to go pick up a hard copy um or wait for it to get delivered so that's uh, that's how that works, basically. Uh, you download it, and you have the essential full game. You just have a lock. You have a 10-hour lock. Now, there is glitches. Last year, there was a glitch. This year, I'm 
told there's a glitch. I am told from inside sources that apparently the glitch works, but you have to keep buying more EA access. Last year, there was a glitch where you could just back out and back into the game and you would eventually just open up the full game, which is stupid. I know it makes no sense, but it just worked. Uh, however, this year, from what, I'm, what I've been told, uh, apparently... Uh, there is a glitch. It just means that um, you have to keep buying EA access on different accounts. And uh, I'll have a video out as soon as we know the glitch. So make sure you have my notifications turned on. And around September 19th, September 20th, make sure you look back at the channel. I will make a video as soon as I know what the extended glitch is to get more hours on, on EA access. I'll, I'll make sure I make a video on it. So uh, make sure you guys are uh, you guys are looking ar around for that, I guess. Something you need to know as well, everything from EA access carries over. It is the full game. So every piece of data you get, maybe you're doing career mode, if you're playing Volta, if you're playing Ultimate Team, everything carries over to the full game. So you get everything. You don't have to worry about it. You can spend money. Um, and there is something called the FIFA point transfer or carryover. So if you buy your FIFA points on FIFA 19 now and load them up when you open up the full game of fifa 20 on ea access as long as you're careful and make sure you look for the message you can transfer your fifa points over a lot of people have been really stupid people and they've uh, they've actually miss even not missed the message but they've misread the message or they've just ignored the message and they've not transferred their fifa points over and they've lost like a few hundred dollars worth of fifa points make sure you're being careful when you load up ultimate team for the first time you will get a uh, asked or, or sorry met with a message that will basically say um do you want to transfer your fifth points over and yes you do you do want to transfer your fifth points over that is what you want to do uh because that's how you get the fifth point transfer or carry over you will be able to buy fifth points on ea access it is possible to buy fifth points on there however sometimes the the market is a little bit or sorry the store is a little bit glitchy so it's always nice to buy your fifth points beforehand before playing ea access just make sure that you guys are around on september 18th as well as september 19th sometimes ea like to do a soft patch release of the game uh meaning that they actually release the game to a certain select amount of people now it's not like they don't say okay you 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 and you can play the game it just means that like the first few thousand on can play sort of thing um and the servers are always terrible but they do tend to release it the day before so make sure you are keep your mind active keep your eyes open make sure you're looking at ea's twitter make sure you're looking at my twitter make sure you're looking at twitter in general because that's where you probably get the information from um and make sure you're you're scouring the game trials the vault install game stuff like that to make sure that you uh you can get there straight away um if it does drop the day before uh it's usually around midday to 6 p.m roughly around that six hour period um where it does happen if if it does happen that's usually the uh the, the time period where it does happen so make sure you are looking out for that um and if it doesn't then 4 p.m on the 19th of september is when it should drop well that's where the uh, official date says um and if you're on playstation or xbox you can play straight away and like i said it's literally the full game so make sure you are playing as if it's the full game uh don't hold back you know y this is the full game just make sure one thing people don't tend to do is if you're going to be opening packs if you're going to be doing something and you're not you don't intend on doing the glitch it's not worth um it's not worth wasting your hours on stuff like packs or SBCs when you can do that on the web app. It's only worth wasting your hours on games and, and stuff you're going to really enjoy doing. Um, the web app is going to be active probably on the same day as uh, EA Access. So you'll find that you can spend most of your time on the web app and then just play games on it and stuff like that. It's up to you though. Uh, I like being conservative with my hours. However, some people don't. Some people like just bashing all their hours out and then waiting for the game. So... It's completely up to you how you play, uh, but like I said, I will have a, a video on the glitch uh, as soon as we know the, uh, the the extended hours glitch of EA Access for FIFA 20. Um, I'll have a video on the channel straight away so you guys can know how to do it and, and sort of, you know, any information around that. Like I said, it'll probably be quite expensive if you're going to be spending a lot of time on it, but... You know, sometimes that happens. And one thing I will say is that if you know that the details to your PlayStation accounts that you're doing it on, I think EA tend to give out refunds. So there you go. EA, or not EA, PlayStation, I believe, give out refunds. I don't know. Anyway, just make sure you cancel them as well. <laughs> make sure you cancel all of them. Uh, but that's it for this video. If this video was helpful, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. We're super close to 100,000 subs, so I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for your epic support recently. And I'll see you lads later.